it's time for our community update. Kids are now out of school for the year, and that means some families and individuals are now looking to plan their upcoming vacations. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, some may be worried about hopping on a plane. Joining us now is Abe Weber, Appleton International Airport's director. Now, the airport has implemented, implemented the ATW Clean Initiative. Tell us about that. So our ATW Clean program is something that we've put in place in partnership with our airlines, the TSA, uh, and all of our concessionaires to really give confidence to uh, any traveler throughout north, Northeast Wisconsin that we are going to be a safer, healthy travel experience by really implementing significant uh, cleaning practices, uh, installing you know, social distancing measures, touchless services, as well as uh, self-cleaning resources throughout the entire terminal building. Now, explain some of those sanitizing procedures that you've done and are available to the travelers as well for them to do. So we're wiping down surfaces before and after flights. We have the air sani misters that are going throughout the terminal building to make sure that all surfaces that are normally touched uh, are sanitized and clean for people to come through the terminal building. Plus, uh, we've added about 20 to 25 additional uh, hand sanitizer locations. We've added bag wiping stations. So people have the opportunity to really control their own desti destiny when cleaning themselves or, uh, you know, passing through the terminal building. Now, being a smaller airport, why do you believe it can be a safer option for travelers? So uh, at Appleton, even at our peak, we never had long lines or we've never had really big crowds. You know, we're the hometown airport. Uh, we give op great uh, flight opportunities, but uh, less crowd. Plus, we've implemented that ATW clean program to give people confidence. Now, are you anticipating an increase of people returning to fly? Uh, so far, we've seen some really strong uh, bookings from May and June that's led our air carriers to add additional flights uh, in July. Uh, we're about 40% of the way back. And we like to see that number continue to grow each and every day. Now, there are expanded direct flight options for travelers right now, aren't there? We have some great direct flights uh, out of Appleton Airport on board Allegiant Airlines. Uh, great family destinations uh, to get you to Florida, whether it be out west um, in Phoenix Mesa or Las Vegas. Uh, but really providing some great opportunities for, for family-friendly opportunities for people to get out and get away. Maybe they felt a little cooped up over the last couple of months, uh, but we are seeing uh, people getting out there. Why do you think these are great for families to take, these types of trips? Well, that nonstop opportunity is just less airport time, less airplane time, less time you have to be around other people. Uh, plus, once you get to your destination, whether it be the beach or the national parks that surround some of these locations, just give you the opportunity to get out there and really have some fun. And what are some tips for folks to travel safely? Uh, you know, we like to say uh, anything using your common sense that you've used, whether you're at the grocery store or a home goods store, you know, covering your cough. If you're sick, you should stay at home. Uh, making sure that you're maintaining your social distancing, washing your hands regularly. Those type of things are going to keep you safer uh, when you do choose to travel. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today, Abe, with the Appleton International Airport. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Well, coming up.